Done. Ooh, company. Unbelievable. That sounds too close to be outside the research zone. One of the waypoints went down. Do you think that's related? Yeah, probably. Red light must mean a serious alert. Yeah, dead battery. Whoa, octopus. I think it went in that cave. I'd like to go in that cave. Let's be real. There's no way I'm not squeezing through here to follow that octopus. We'll definitely want to practice diver rescue at some point. Well, maybe. Mirai, please be careful. There. Sorry to spoil your hiding place. Fun alert. Looks like some young dolphins are having a play date. Hey guys, can I take a turn? Frankly, neither do I. Mirai, sperm whales. And they must be your part because I have a tag signal that is definitely ours. Pushing the waypoint. On my way. I'm hoping to reconnect with the sperm whale family whom I have been tracking for years. I'm excited to check in on our mother-to-be. Mirai clearly has a fondness for these creatures. She's fallen silent. Right. Let me finish scanning them all. I still don't see our pregnant mother. Done. Good. Everything all right? 
I am now. Look. Our mommy whale has delivered. Everyone say hi to her beautiful one-ton baby girl. Is she okay? Right. Shh. She's nursing. I just wish all of you could be here for one second. <sighs> Amazing. That is the end of our stream. Like, share, comment. Remember, we need you. All of us down here. My family used to go to the beach every summer. For me, that was my favorite thing to do all year long, hearing the seagulls, the sound of the ocean pounding on the beach. For me, that was just grounding and relaxing and fascinating all at the same time. The physicality of the ocean is one of the things that, as a kid, attracted me the most. That thrill of just having that ocean energy push me along. You could just ride all day. There was no lift tickets. There was no fees to get into the ocean. When I describe to people what it's like to dive on a coral reef, they're like, oh, I never thought about that. They've never had a shark swim right beside them. Look them in the eye and give them a little fright for a second before they realize that the shark just wonders what I'm doing, just like I wonder what the shark is doing. I started free diving. So when I think of diving, I really think of free diving. Like, this is what whales do, right? Take a big breath of air and they hold that oxygen inside their body. This ability to free dive down to where the scuba divers were, swim around and come back up, was just so free, nothing on, no equipment. I just love that, it made me feel like a fish. When I did my first submersible dive, I realized it wasn't just that I was meant to be out on ships. I was supposed to be in the bottom. I don't think anyone has ever measured endorphins in submarines, but I can tell you they're probably through the roof. The first time I was in a submarine, I saw that life down there and 50 new questions popped into my brain. That wouldn't have come up because it was this immersive experience and I just felt it. When you're in a submarine and you're looking at these magical environments, you're overwhelmed by this sense of wonder. You're humbled by this feeling of, there's so much I don't know about the world. And you're stimulated to figure out how this all works together. I'm a marine biologist. I'm someone who studies the ocean from as many angles as I can. When my kids... My family used to go just ground the most for a second before they take a big breath of air just so free nothing on just that I was meant to be out on ships I was life down there and 50 new questions you're overwhelmed I'm a marine biologist I'm to the bottom of the ocean and I see things that people have never seen before how lucky am I to be able to share this amazing habitat with the rest of the world? As a child, I had no idea how important the ocean is, that the great majority of life on Earth is in the sea, that the greatest diversity of life is in the sea. My name is Sylvia Earle. I'm a scientist an oceanographer, an ocean explorer. I've spent years at sea aboard ships and thousands of hours under the sea. I've seen things others have not. If others could see what I've witnessed, they would know how much the ocean has changed.